Thursday and Halloween is right around the corner. That calls for a scientific sacrifice with the Imagination Station. Dan Clements is here with our gummy bears who are going to meet their end apparently, right? Yes, you know, Halloween's coming up. Yep. And you know, candy, everybody loves candy. It's all about Halloween and that's right. Gonna, I love to eat candy. The, right, but today we're gonna do something <laughs> a little bit different. All right. Um, everybody knows that candy, especially gummy bears like this, are full of sugar. Sure, okay. that's what makes them delicious, right? Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple things and see how we can see well, how much energy is stored up in okay. that sugar. So first thing we're gonna do, is I've got some gummy bears here and I'm gonna have you put on your safety glasses safety before glasses. we get started. <whistles> safety first, perfect, just very like stylish. Okay. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna have you grab that blowtorch right there. Okay. And I want you to just click that button and blast, not right, not over there, uh, I want you to blast my gummy bears right on top of them. Right on top yeah, of them. Yeah, just blast okay. them with that flame. Okay. Whoa, look at them turning. And you can see what's happening. I don't know if the camera can see that. They're just kind of blast. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, you can see it's kind of smoky. Now, what we do in science, we waft. So, waft, tell me what that smells like. It smells it smell like, like? like marshmallows, like when you were burning marshmallows around a campfire. Yeah, it's like kinda. toasted marshmallows yeah. almost. What's happening is I'm actually caramelizing Ooh. the sugar in okay. our gummy bears. So if you like seen creme brulee. It sounds or, fancy cooking term. Right, know, and caramelize. it kind of creates all those kind of really good aromatic yeah, smells. I like it. Okay, so that's caramelizing. It's not quite combustion though. So we actually are gonna do some combustion. Combustion see sounds like kabooming. Right, so <laughs> in these two containers, I have a material called potassium chlorate. Okay. okay and I'm gonna turn this back on. And what we can do, is we can actually turn it from a solid into a liquid. So we're heating it up. So I'm heating it up and I'm actually melting it and changing it into a liquid. Now potassium chlorate, it's pretty cool because it contains a whole lot of oxygen. And in order to get combustion, you need oxygen, right? So it seems it's like you have our... to heat this up a lot in order to get it into a liquid, right? You gotta heat it up pretty hot. That's why I'm using my blowtorch here. And it looks like it's pretty much good. So Ryan, what I'm gonna have you do, Okay. is grab a bunch of those gummy bears, you know, just scoop them up in there. Okay, I'm I got them right there. my blowtorch away. And just go ahead and dump them in and we'll see what happens. Okay. Dump as many of them as you can get in there. Perfect. Whoa. Maybe throw another one in there. Okay, so what's happening? Go gummies, go. It's reacting with all that oxygen in there, <laughs> and it's creating this very bright light. I'm gonna kind of put a little witch's hat on there so we don't smoke out the place, okay? But you can see how much energy is stored up inside of there. That's amazing, and that was just out of the gummy bears. That's just out of the gummy bears and all that oxygen that is in our potassium chlorate. Now, I've got another container here. You can see it's a little bit different shape, and I'm gonna go ahead and start melting it down there. Okay. Okay, but that was kind of the opposite of our caramelization there. We actually combusted it and made all kinds of nasty stuff. And you can kind of you smell, can smell it. doesn't smell, it smell as good. It's not quite as good, okay? Because that's actually burning. It's like when you burn the outside of your marshmallow. There's never of really a good it. burnt smell, is there? Right, it's not a really a good smell. But you can see, you might be able to get in real close and you'll see that it will start to melt. In the oh, I can start to see now. it just a little bit. Turning from a solid to a liquid, our potassium chlorate. We're almost there. This time, I thought we would do something a little bit different. Instead of a gummy bear, I brought some gummy worms. Do they, do they, do they slink worms, away right? a little differently in there? They don't <laughs> slink away, but we might be able to see a little bit different a reaction okay. from our gummy worms. I think we're almost ready. There it goes. Okay, so it's really so it's changing really right really melted. Now. It's oh, no longer a yep. solid. Yep, there All it right, goes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down, okay. and I'm going to drop our worm in there. Ready? Three, oh, just one worm. two, one. Ooh. Okay. This is kind of cool because of the shape of the container it creates kind of like a ooh, crystal ball. It's like, ball. An, it's it's like, like a crystal alien, ball type of thing. like uh, Independence Day or something in there. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and you know put our witch's hat on there. There we go. So we don't smoke out the place. But you can see that reaction's happening and creates kind of a cool glowing effect. That is pretty cool. Does, does the actual shape of the bottle also impact what it looks like or how it burns? Well, it might affect how just exactly how much potassium chlorate comes in mm -hmm. contact with the sugar. Um, but it's kind of a cool different way to so see it happen. This is pretty cool. We have lots of cool happenings happening at Imagination Station as well. What's going on? You know, we have spooky science starting this weekend and running through next weekend, which is Halloween. So you can come in and check out things like this and other really cool Halloween science themed experiments. So it's pretty awesome. You can check Looking it out. Looking forward to it right here in downtown Toledo. Dan, thank you very much. No as problem. As always, although I'm going to nab some of these start eating them. <laughs> we have more WTOL 11 Your Day coming up in just a moment. But first, let's check in with Amanda with what we're working on for WTOL 11 News at Noon. Whew. Smoky in here. <laughs> Coming up today at noon, we have a 24 year old Ohio mother in court charged after she admitted to killing her children. Her lawyer saying her rights were violated. Find out why coming up at noon. And a Texas police officer being called a hero this afternoon after saving a young boy's life. It was all caught on camera. We're going to have the details and much more, including that first alert forecast at noon. Stay with us for more your day.